right, buddies. Well, we're back out on the pier. And uh, last time we told you that the, the how-to rig was coming soon. So, first things first, he's going to take your two-way swivel right yonder. Run that through the line. He doesn't have to tie it off. Just let him fall to your octet. And he's got your slip bobber here. A little windy. Get that through. Ticker. It's got a two ounce right now, depending on the conditions, you can go all the way up to a four ounce. But I'd prefer to have one right now, but what it's got. Tie that off just like open. And a basic fisherman's not, you know, will work. Cuts that now. Swivel, you was wondering, what is the dirt with that? Chimney sweeper. Chimney sweeper, as we like to call them. And on the other end, well, this here Diddy Darger. In this case, I have an eagle claw. You always want an octopus hook when you're fishing the pier. That's your absolute best bet. That way, when that fish starts running, pretty much hooks itself. Tie this deep donker up. Fish. All right. So, pretty simple rig. Bernie here's gonna give you a little recap of it. So again, you take your main line, you feed it through one end of the swivel. You feed that through your slip bobber. You ties it off to the pyramid sinker, and then from the other end of your swivel runs your hook we's gonna throw on a jumbo shrimp um for shrimp we prefer to run jumbers anywhere in the 20 to 25 count um always cooked of course gives them that nice red color i reckon them scams love it um the marinara on there ain't included sadly because i'll be fetching me up here dinner and uh Send this out. Yep, show them that book of shrimp party. Look at that thing. Gorgeous. Makes me hungry. Alright. Come down yonder. Alright, so casting these big long leaders is kind of an art. And our dog's gonna show you here how it does it. I like to run my shrimps ways back as far as I can. Add some tension to the line and prevent yourself from casting off the shrimp. Make sure it leaves the pier and then release. Nice and gentle. Leave your spool open till it hits the bottom. All right, should be good. Find your nice little pier holder. We are blessed here at the St. Joe Pier. They have these holes. You fish in other places. It's also important, I don't know if you can see it, but my swivel's only about halfway down the line, so you hold it real high, real tight, and you just start jimmying it. It should, in theory, jimmy its way on down there. It's trying. If you can't get to it, it ain't the end of the world, but it is ideal. In that case, we're gonna leave that one there. Now, folks, you want to keep a loose drag, but not too loose like that. That there is too loose. You want something to put pressure on the fish so it hooks it. Right about 
there is probably good. I know that probably don't help you much, but you want to keep it fairly loose. But also a little tension. I was going to try and jimmy that down there one more time. There she goes. All right. Stick her on in the rod holder. Reckon it's good. Let her screw. Okay.